Well, let's begin by making a little cell. I'm going to take a galvanized nail and stick that into a lemon. Then I'll also take a piece of copper wire and stick that into the lemon. Then we'll take our multimeter and take the black lead and connect it to the nail and we'll take the red lead and connect it to the copper. And when we do that, you'll notice that there is a reading of about 0.9 volts on this little cell that I've generated. Whenever we have dissimilar metals, in this case, this is really zinc, it's, it's a zinc-coated nail, and copper, and we have an electrolyte, and the electrolyte in this case is the juice in the lemon, that sets up an electrical potential or an electric current through an external circuit, as we see here. Now, unfortunately, the current that is produced here is not enough to light a light bulb. So, unless you have an extremely sensitive light bulb, um, you can't do very much with this, but it is nice to show that we generate an electric potential. Here I've set up two lemon cells. Each one has a copper and a zinc covered nail in it. I've joined the, the nail to the copper wire in the second cell and then I connect the copper wire and the nail wire to my meter. And you can now read that the potential here is about 1.78 volts. So we can actually increase the potential by putting two of these cells in series. So we call this in series because one goes after the other. 